hello students in this series of lectures our next topic is about population inversion uh, pumping and its types okay let's talk about the population inversion so the population inversion is the state in which number of atoms present in higher energy state is greater than the number of atoms present in lower energy state now this is a, a inverse condition let's take a state this is ground state this is excited state energy e1 number of atom present n1 e2 n2 and we are taking also taking another scenario in which the same we have energy level e1 n1 e2 n now the state in which number of atom present in the ground state is greater than that is n1 greater than n2 this is called normal population and this is always a stable condition okay so at stable condition we got this state in which the number of atoms present in ground state is always greater than the number of atom present in excited state and if we are taking another scenario in which number of atoms present in higher energy state is getting increased as compared to the number of atom present in ground state so this condition is called population population inversion right population inversion condition and this condition is not a stable condition this is not a natural condition we need energy uh, for this condition to maintain this condition we need energy and the energy we are using is in terms of pumping that we calling pumping so pumping is the energy we are using and this energy is using to raise the electrons from ground state to the excited state okay and uh, only then we are getting this n2 greater than n1 condition and uh, uh, if we are defining this population inversion is the precondition for the light amplification and uh, occurring in the laser so laser is nothing but a amplified light so la laser is nothing but a amplified light so population inversion is the precondition for this uh, light amplification so in order to achieve population inversion a different types of schemes are used and uh, we will uh, cover this part later but let's have a basic idea so different type of schemes are like we have three level scheme we have a four level scheme okay so there are number of schemes uh, to achieve the population inversion population inversion is not possible for two level scheme right if we have two level scheme then the population inversion is not possible possible we only make number of atom present in excited state and uh, ground state equal but not greater and for the population inversion what we need a greater amount of uh, atoms present in this higher energy state now let's talk about the pumping its uh, types so pumping is the process to achieve the population inversion right it means if we have this state the electrons always in ground state at the normal condition electrons are present in the ground state you are providing energy and the electron is raising to the higher energy state e2 state from e1 so the this process through which you are getting energy you are putting energy or you are giving energy to your system we are calling this is a pumping so this is the pumping source pumping can be defined and it is to achieve the population inversion in the medium is called pumping action and it is essential requirement for producing laser and there are uh, the common methods used to to achieve the population inversion or by using pumping is uh, first one is the optical pumping which uh, which is also named as excitation by photon second one is electrical discharge method which is uh, also named uh, named as excitation by electrons and third one is the direct conversion so let's talk about one by one first one is the optical pumping so optical pumping is nothing but you are providing a let's say this is my state e1 and 1 e2 and 2 so in case of optical pumping what we are providing we are providing pumping source the atoms are exposed to the light radiation that's why it is optical pumping it means we are using optical energy to raise the electron 
from ground state to the excited state so this is eeg goes to h nu energy that is you are using a light energy so when atoms are exposed to the light radiation energy h nu atoms in the lower energy state absorb this radiation absorb this radiation and go to the excited state this method is called optical pumping and it is always used in the solid state laser like ruby laser uh, which we will cover in the next lecture and uh, in case of ruby laser this pumping source is xenon lamp xenon lamp right so in case of ruby laser so next is the electrical discharge method so electric discharge method is uh, also named as excitation by electron and in this method the electrons are produced uh, by using an electrical discharge and these electrons are accelerated to high velocities by a strong electrical field uh, these accelerated electrons collide with the gas atoms by the process energy from the electron is transferred to the gas atoms so here we are not using optical energy here what we are using to raise electrons or raise atoms from ground state to the higher energy state we are using electrons and uh, let's say this is the chamber a gas filled chamber you are putting a gas uh, inside this chamber and this chamber is connected with the circuit this circuit uh, will produce electrons now these electron will collide with the gas atoms and these atoms now will move to the excited state and this result in the population inversion this is a similar method like we have uh, in case of optical method just instead of this uh, optical energy what we are using we are using electron so electrons also having some energy it will transfer the, uh, their energy to the atoms and uh, atoms will move to the higher energy state so this method is called electrical discharge method and this method uh, is used uh, in the gas laser right so it is always used in the gas laser and we will use this type of method for the helium neon laser this we will cover in the upcoming lectures helium neon laser also so third method for the pumping is the direct conversion so direct conversion it means you are giving electrical energy applied to any system and the uh, system uh, is converting that uh, electrical energy into light energy so due to which we got a condition which you call uh, population we can inversion use condition this only for but the material which this are having direct method cannot be used for okay. all kind of there materials there are two types of we band gaps two types of band gap one is direct and second one is indirect so materials having some materials having direct band gaps materials having uh, indirect band gap so this method is only applicable for direct band gap method and what are these type of band gaps we will talk about uh, in uh, next lecture that uh, what is a uh, direct band gap and indirect band gap and during the process there is a recombination is going to be happen between electrons and hole pair and uh, this is directly converted into light energy so this is uh, about the types of pumping these are the commonly used uh, pumping uh, types right and pumping is used to raise the electron from the ele ground state to the excited state and when we got a condition when number of atom present in higher energy state is greater than the lower energy state that that condition is called population inversion condition this is a precondition for the laser action okay thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you